to go until Christmas. Yes, really. Retail experts are predicting a festive season like no other. Competition is expected to be particularly fierce amongst supermarkets this year, with Wednesday the 23rd of December expected to be the busiest shopping day of the season. Our consumer affairs correspondent Nick Sheridan has been speaking to three business owners about what they're expecting from a Covid Christmas. John Quigley and his restaurant are facing into a festive season like no other. Christmas gatherings form a huge part of his December calendar, but this year he can no longer rely on the business that they bring. You know, when we reopened, the thought was we can get through to Christmas, Christmas is coming, you know, and that should give us a little bump. But then with the new guideline, it's going to make it very, very tricky to fill the restaurant. Do you expect businesses to be closing over Christmas? I think if you're in that precarious position, you probably will be closing before Christmas. Uh, but the pinch will come January, February. That's where the pinch will come because those reserves, the cash reserves that we normally have, might not be as as, as healthy come January, February, and that's when the other other bills start coming out in as well. So we have to we have to be very, very careful with cash flow, basically. Craig McGee owns an events company which usually hosts seventy five parties every December. This year his calendar is empty and he fears the entertainment sector is facing an exodus of its workforce. People who work in the infrastructure around events, producers of events, everyone that comes to uh, your sound technicians, uh, all that side, side of the industry. A lot of people might not be able to go back to that live event world because they've went to do different jobs and that's what's going to be a problem. Um, lots of people love going to concerts. If the people who run the concerts aren't there, so a lot more help needed for uh, the overall industry. Now it may be a slightly different story for the high street, particularly for retailers who have a slick online operation. Last year, adults, at least in Scotland, left a lot of their spending until after Christmas to take advantage of sales. But this year, market analysts are predicting much more of a pre-Christmas splurge and the competition amongst retailers will be fierce. And companies who work with the man in red to give families some Christmas magic are also having to adapt. Ah, I just see this only a hundred days till Christmas. Christina in Livingston works as a ho-ho helper to Santa. She's been training Santa how to use Zoom to give children a virtual visit. And as a children's entertainer, we saw in March, we saw all our work overnight just completely disappear. And it's been trying to fit around, it's trying to do things online, which is obviously new technology and things that kids aren't used to and trying to persuade parents that it, that it would work and it was still fun online, was hard work. Hello Santa. Santa's been through a lot worse in the past and don't panic is the key motto here I think. Thank you so much Santa, we'll, we'll let you get back to work. Okay, okay, thank you and uh, have a very merry Christmas when it comes around, won't you folks? Ah, oh, ta-ta for now. Nick Sheridan, reporting Scotland. Boys.